hey guys welcome back to my channel for today's video i will be doing like an ombre kind of style on my nails i still have my nails on so well i'm missing one <laughs> but um we're just gonna be working on my one left hand and we are gonna be removing the Swarovskis so that I can show you how to do ombre nails at home with Dollar Tree products. So we're gonna do a little cute design set on this hand with Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree products. And if you aren't subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe. We're literally hitting the 1,000. If not, by the time this is up, we probably just hit the 1,000. So thank you guys so much for subscribing. And like I said, if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and hit the post notification bell button so you guys are notified every time I upload new videos. So without further ado, let's get started with yeah. this video. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and open this file. I also have to get a uh, kind of like an old nipper that I can remove the Swarovskis. So this one that should do, hopefully. So let me see. Ooh, I just heard that. I swear you guys, sometimes I've had like these things go in my eye. I need to get some goggles or something because I'll be like removing this from a client's um nails and then I'll get them popped in my face. <laughs> So I'm just gonna reshape the nails a little bit. I'm just gonna grab this for stability again. Now I'm just going to remove the shine. And I'm just using my my file because if you were to do this at home, you could do it with your phone. I did get a buffer from the Dollar Tree. So let's look at a little Dollar Tree bin. That's the one I'm gonna use. I don't think I'm gonna I'm gonna open both of them because I don't think well this one will be good, but well, let's try. So we're gonna open this one and I'm just looking for something with a little bit of a more coarsier side because these are very like to shine and whatnot. So I don't even know how to open this. I'm like damaging the buffer by trying to open it. I guess I gotta all the way unwrap it. Okay. And it does feel like, oh, okay, this one might be good where it says fine grit to smooth edges of nail. But it feels like a lot of the, let's see. Grit to shape now. Oh, cool. Let me see. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so let's try to use a smoother. So this is medium grit, fine grit. Yeah. So we're gonna use the purple side. It says fine grit, and it says step three. So we're gonna use just the step three to finish file, and it feels pretty nice. So I hope the finished product will be good.
Wow, it feels extremely smooth. Wow. So I'll give this one a five out of five because you can use this buffer. And there's a lot of um, grit sides. So that's amazing. Oh wow. We'll go on to the middle one. I have my little spray bottle of alcohol in my purse because of this whole pandemic thing. So now I have to actually take whatever's left from here and then I'm gonna just cleanse the nails real quick. Okay, much better. Okay, so I'm not gonna open this actually because, well maybe, let's just look at it and see if this would be good for finished filing. Um, I'll get back to you guys on this one. I think you might be able to. So anyway, so now we are ready. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab, um, we're not gonna use that acetone, but that acetone's from the Dollar Tree, and it is 100% acetone, you guys. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, there's a couple things I'm not gonna be using in here, but for the most part, let me see, cause I'm gonna figure out what I wanna do. So you guys are familiar with everything that I got. But I am going to take one of these sponges. And they all look like they're going to work around about the same way. Um, We're going to use two or three. I don't know. Let's figure it out. So let's grab a couple out to see what is going to work best. So what you want to do first is we're going to use... I was going to say we should use the base first. But I don't feel like you need to do base um gel or base polish on acrylics because there's already an extension there so um i was going to look be between these two i don't know which one to get this is not from the dollar store that's why i'm like eh, should i use it i got this i think at walmart but this is the one that i got at the dollar tree not the dollar store sorry so i guess we'll just do both and see what comes out better so hmm or we'll just go with the Dollar Tree because we don't want to, you know, we are trying to stick to what it is. And this is a Dollar Tree type of nail video. So, I mean, it's not going to cover it completely, but you'll see why I want to use it. This is basically going to be the, what is it called? Not the base, but it's like for the color. Because we're going to do an ombre, so I want to do like a nudish with color ombre. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do purple or pink. Most likely I want to do the purple and pink, so we'll see. But this color is 517 and it's by LA Colors Color Glaze. So we are going to apply it on all the hand, well on this hand, but on all the fingers. And I do need my diamond because I can't do nothing right now. Okay. So... Because the nails are so long, I gotta add extra. This brings me back to the days when there was only regular polish at the nail supply, and not nail supply, at the nail salon. Because I can smell it. Because that's all that there was. There was no gel polish or colored acrylic at all. Okay, so we got our first coat. Let's do our second coat and hopefully it covers it up a lot more. That's not bad. 
and I am not the best at polishing. I'm gonna tell you guys that right now, if it's not gel, I suck at polishing with regular polish. I really do, I'm not even gonna lie. That's why I hate regular polish. I think it's the worst thing when you wanna actually be a nail tech because it takes forever to dry, that's one. And then, it's just like, if you mess up, you gotta take the whole thing off. Unlike gel, like you remove a little bit and you just keep it going, honestly. All right, so we got two layers and that's what they look like right now. They don't look too bad, I think that's gonna be good. And then I'm going to show you guys how to do the ombre with the sponge and the other colors, like the brighter colors. So we're going to let it dry for like about five minutes and then I'll continue with the video. Okay, so while they were drying, my dumb self kind of like <laughs> messed up the little, a little bit of the thumb. But that's okay because we going to cover it up with the ombre. Anyway. So I am going to go ahead and see what sponge I want to use. So I'm just going to go ahead and take, I guess, the pink one. Let's do the pink one. Or should I do this one? Th this one's probably going to be really good, though, because I feel like it's going to be really sturdy. Hmm. Let's just go with the pink one for now and see what happens. I just feel like because the nails are so long, so I'm going to, you know what? Let's just go ahead and use this bigger one because I just feel like it's going to help out. A lot more so I'm gonna go ahead and open up uh, let me see this the pink now the purple one first well we're gonna open both up so we need both oh you know what I forgot to shake this one I don't even think I shook the other one uh oh technically this is how you're supposed to shake polished bottles I'm not really supposed to do that because it creates air bubbles fun fact <laughs> okay so let's go because i'm feeling a little purple today so let's see so you do want to take i forgot to shake this one you're gonna want to take this nude color though because did i mention to you guys what number it was i think i did it's 517 so this is by, they're all mostly these color ones are by LA Colors, Color, Gla color Craze once again, because I know I mentioned it already, but just a reminder. But yeah, we're going to use the nude and the colors to blend together. So we're going to add, let's add the purple first. So the purple can go here. You want to add a good amount of color. And hopefully the sponges are really good because sometimes, depending on the sponges, your ombre will either come out nice or not. Alright. I'm going to go back into that purple. Hopefully I didn't add too much. Okay. So I'm going to start with the thumb. Okay, and that's what the thumb looks like so far. And then we're gonna go to this one, which is the pointer. And that's what that looks like. And then we're going to do the middle one with the same, whatever's left on the sponge is what we're using. And we're gonna do the pinky. And this is how you get the best result. And you're gonna let it dry because that's how you're gonna get the best, best result. You're gonna let the color dry because if you don't and you go back to dab, a lot of all of what you did will get removed. So make sure that you just let it dry for a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna leave that. So we're gonna move on to the, to the ring finger and I am gonna grab this pinker one and I'm going to go into the pink. And back with the nude. Because we're going to do an ombre on that ring. 
So we want to do the nude right on top of the sponge. And then we're going to add the pink at the bottom. This is what's going to be our little accent nail, even though... Um, oh, you know what? I don't know. I kind of want to do the purple and the pink actually way better. Let's do that. Forget that. Let's do that one. Okay, so let's do the purple and the pink. So actually, we can actually just go back and add the purple on top. I wouldn't normally recommend to do this, but I think it'll be okay. Because the nude is not a strong color, color so it's not really going to interfere with what the purple is going to look like onto the nail. Okay, so now we have some pink and purple. So that's what it looks like before we dab it on there. And this is going to create like a two-tone two ombre. I don't know what this is. Now I'm kind of scared to remove it. Oh, and I just messed that up. But if that wasn't there, it would have been better. I was just trying to get rid of it. Okay, that looks really nice. I'm telling you guys, even if you don't have nail extensions or any acrylic on, you can do this to your own actual natural nails. Okay, so now that we've spent a little time on that nail, we can go into the other ones again, go back to the others, and just do the exact same things until you get the desired look that you actually want. Kind of just hitting it singularly here because I felt like that made it a little more. Then we're just finishing off the last one. So, so far we have did a second coat and we're going to go back to this one. And we are going to be doing three coats, guys, just to get the best outcome and the best Opacity. Oh, this is going to be so cute. So if you have clients too, or if any of my clients don't want to, you know, keep taking off the colored acrylic, ombres, whatever, you could also just leave a nude underneath or a clear and we can do basically the same thing as this, you know? Okay, so back into this one and it really does help to get something that helps stabilize your hand just like my little diamond thing here okay oh that one's so nice i think that one may not need a third coat but i might want to add it yeah i think i still will just for assurance that it's opaque enough and we're just gonna go back one more time to the purple ombres. So see, this color is actually not bad, even though it wasn't too, it's not as opaque, it's a very sheer nude, but it's working for us, so I'm pretty sure it'll work for you. So yeah, just make sure you add the first coat of the nude so that there's so much opaqueness, like full coverage, that doesn't really matter. So that's why we added the two coats in the beginning and that's how we're gonna get the best look okay so okay Ooh. 
Okay, that is really pretty. I think we just need a little bit right there. Perfect. Wow. I feel like I could have done that a little better, but that's all right. It's still nice. Okay, so now we're just going to do this one one more time. Oh, wrong one. Okay. Move along. Wow, that looks absolutely beautiful. I'm so in love with this. Wow. And I'm afraid that I'm looking at the middle one and I do feel like it does need a little bit more purple. So we're just going to go in with the purple a little bit. Just a little bit. I'm not even going to go into the nude. We're just going to focus on the purple to make it a little more opaque. Yes, much better. Okay, so now we can close up these colors. This is so pretty. So we're going to let this dry and then we're going to come back and continue finishing. I know that we do not have like, well actually I've seen diamonds at the Dollar Tree. So that's what I'm saying. But I know we don't have do the diamonds at the Dollar Tree. And we're not going to use Starsky's, we're going to use regular rhinestones. But that's what's probably gonna make it look nice. So if you do have this, if you do have a dollar, you can go get a lot of these things, and you can probably go on Amazon or eBay or AliExpress. You guys, I'm telling you, AliExpress, um, they do take a little longer though, especially right now. I'm pretty sure it's not coming. But if you do have diamonds at home, bring them out right now, and we're gonna use some Dollar Tree glue because I'm not gonna use my regular Mia Secret resin. We're gonna use Dollar Tree glue to stick on the rhinestones. So that's what's coming up next <laughs> okay that was annoying my phone started getting overheated and my phone's what's filming my hands so sorry guys so let me just go ahead and remove with my dollar tree acetone which is amazing that they have now but i am going to use that and maybe a little napkin to clean around my cuticles and see if this brush works decently I'm, yeah, seems good. I was gonna do a, which I'm gonna call it. So, okay, so now that we clean up, this thing worked really, right, really good for cleaning up around the cuticle. So now we are going to be adding diamonds. Oh no, wait, we have to do the. Ugh. We have to do the design first, actually. So let's go ahead and grab a striper brush. Oh, I wanted to save this one over. Oh. Guys, I forgot to try this one out. Oh, that one's probably gonna work even better. What? Okay. So I'm gonna clean my little striper brush. Cause it has some polish on it already and we're gonna go with hmm tough choice tough tough choice I think I'm gonna go in with the gold I don't know why I'm feeling the gold right now and we're just going to I'm gonna take this dap and dish and just Put it on top. Put it on my striker brush. And I think I'm just going to do some line work, which I'm horrible at. <laughs> but we got to try, guys. We got to try. I got to make sure that I am in. Got to make sure that I wasn't on camera. 
So this is probably not the best brush to do this part, but we gonna do it anyway. Pretty. Wow. I'm like really shocked that this one at this color oh my gosh that is a pigmented gold wow for the dollar tree and i didn't even shake the bottle i should shake it okay so we're gonna do that i just want that on that line and then i wanted to do maybe an accent on the thumb something on the thumb which i'm like i said i suck at drawing so Wow. Wow. I'm like shocked. I mean, it's not that cute right there, but I just wanted to try out some lines to see what it would really look like. And that looks really cute, but you know what? Let's just at least try and do a design. Gotta clean it, it's acting kind of funny now. But for the most part, it's easy to move around. For this one, I'm just going to do like a little accent at the very bottom kind of like to because we're just we're literally just trying out what's working here so maybe going this way will be easier oh this is so hard when i have long nails so two lines this way would probably look cute okay okay i see you dollar tree i see you all right, so enough of that. I'm gonna grab the, ooh, so cute. Anyway, I'm gonna grab, I can't even open this. I'm gonna grab the glue, and this is what we're using for our stones. Open. I hate the part where you have to actually, oh, it's open. Wow, you don't even have to like cut it open or anything. All right, so. Dun, da, 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 stone time. Open, sesame. Okay. Now, because I know that not everybody has stones, that's why I'm not really going to overdo this too much. So what I'm gonna do is do very little. So I'm gonna add a stone. Let me see. Here. Here. Some tinier stones. Or medium sized. I think they're like medium sized. I'm just gonna glob right there. Unfortunately, that's how it's not like a brush on glue, it's just one of those. So, Ooh. add it to the middle.
Ooh, that looks pretty good. So this is a top coat and it just says base coat top coat LA colors once again nail treatment and it does say it has like oh no the other one did the beige one had a hardener in it but that this one's just the base and top coat all in one what they already look cute without this okay so we're gonna add a lot because these ones are long so make sure if your nails are super long um nail And I think you want to dry it. I think it should take at least five minutes to do a second coat, though. Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and do the cuticle oil. and i really love them so my camera did start blurring because i noticed for my phone not my obviously this camera but i was looking at it and i was like oh no i don't know if i got enough footage of me finishing the nail so hopefully we didn't mess anything up but anyway that is all for today's video you guys i really hope you enjoyed the video and don't forget to comment like and subscribe because we're almost at the 1000 subscriber count so yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed this dollar tree nail tutorial take care guys i love you and that's it. Bye.